On November 10th, Valve's highly anticipated and long-awaited Steam machines will finally start entering living rooms. In order to make its PC apps and games usable on a television, Valve's designed an entirely new operating system for the new hardware platform. SteamOS is designed to be used with a game controller, either the company's own Steam controller or an Xbox or Logitech controller. The design is card-based here, and games are laid out in a grid for easy navigation. Simply use your controller's thumbstick to move around the interface. The home screen is simple and allows you to jump into your most recently played games. And there's even a section called Don't Forget to Play, which reminds you to play games you've purchased but haven't yet launched. Browsing for games to buy in the store is a pleasure. There are sections for featured, newly released, specials, and sales. You'll even get those handy sales and new game alerts in your notification section. And here you'll also find your friend requests and group invites. Browsing your game library is similar to browsing the store. Your games are laid out in a grid with beautiful cover art. On the left, you'll find a column with options for filtering through your game library. By default, you'll be shown your most recently played games, as well as sections for games that are popular amongst your friends and games that you recently bought. To the right is an option to filter your games by name, as well as by controller support. If you have a Steam controller, you can actually search for a game by using its dual trackpads and trigger buttons to type. It takes a little getting used to. If you want to play your own music while gaming, you can browse your music library from the music icon on the home screen as well. Valve took great pains to make sure SteamOS has every feature of its Steam desktop app. You can read game reviews, look at screenshots, and even watch live broadcasts of games. There's also a web browser built in, which works well, but doesn't support Flash, so you're not going to be watching Netflix or Hulu on this. When you're in a game, you can call it the Steam Overlay by pressing the center button on your controller. There's also an option to remap your controller buttons, which you're definitely going to need if the game you're playing isn't designed for controllers. Overall, SteamOS is intuitive and snappy. It's not complete yet, and Valve is constantly updating with new features and performance updates. The company still has some time to polish SteamOS before the launch of its Steam machines on November 10th. For all things Steam, you're already in the place you need to be. IGN.